Hello everybody and welcome back to another Techno Tokyo Theater video. We are here yet again with the Summer Wonder Festival. So if you're just tuning in to this type of video, I'm liking it to a visual podcast, which means you're going to be sitting here just listening to me talk for the next hour or so about all the new and recently announced figures at this summer festival okay it's gonna be fun all right this is one of my favorite kind of videos to do you get a good feel for my personality and individuality right 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 but also this video is going to be unedited unscripted i'm just going to be kind of just doing my own thing here we're going to have a good time and see some of these figures man get a, get some good comments and feedback on them but one thing i want to tell you guys this is my second time coming through this uh this the some of these figures here because I lost the footage the first time I recorded this uh, I think I might have allowed the recorder the screen recorder to record all night to a place where I think it just used up any remaining space on the computer and like the file became corrupted so I, I could I don't know it was a mistake on my part which means I'm gonna have to look at these figures again which means some of these reactions aren't gonna be as genuine uh, but I'm gonna save you guys some trouble we're gonna skip a few of these I know I know we're gonna be hurt a little bit. Oh, I don't skip the figure. I mean, well, well, there are some some of these sections weren't as interesting as others. So in a way, I'm gonna just jump to some of the more interesting stuff so you guys can see. And then there's gonna be some stuff that is gonna be new to me as well. So here's Plum. Um, even though I have looked through this section, I feel like I'm seeing some stuff for the first time. Okay, now this this lady I do remember. This one I liked a lot. I thought that this looked very very. Uh, very very nice man just the detail and stuff on her clothing here like I, I always like it when figures give kind of the impression of fabric I'm sorry this, this computer is acting like it's being abused right now it's just I don't know if that's picking up on the mic the air from the from the computer or whatever have you um, but yeah just the whole color palette here with her I'm especially digging uh, the socks and everything this isn't fabric it's not a sweater, but it's designed to look like it is one, and it gives off a very, very convincing illusion. All right, I like that a lot. And this part here too, even though I wouldn't say the jacket is as convincing, I do particularly like this simple kind of separation of color, which is a very unique jacket and a very unique choice of colors. I did notice now. I notice her nose appears to like be non-existent. Now maybe it's just the photograph. I'm sure there's a little bit of a, a bump or something there to signify that she does have a nose but in this image it looks a little bit strange uh the fact that she doesn't have a nose so let's uh get out of here oh what the heck's going on there we go all right let's maximize this screen this is the little lady from uh gun game the, the new sword art series and oh yeah <laughs> oh oh see this is what i'm saying we get into it early all right last time the introduction was how long uh, there wasn't really too much, um, too much great figures in the, in the early half of the video. I was commenting on some of the silly ones, but there weren't any that were like this right chat. Uh, this was getting hella kinky, all right? I think I might already save these pictures. Um, on one part of these joints, her, her, her underwear were coming down. There we go. There we go. I like you, like you. Now, this doesn't seem like it's going to be as crazy or seductive a figure. And then it goes to go south very quickly all right <laughs> well for me it's a good thing but things take a turn for the worse <laughs> in a way i did not expect uh when i first saw this figure man uh because look at look she looks so innocent and then she's just getting all kinds of fucked over here all right let's keep it going all right these are kind of cool these are some some sort of mega man toys or figures okay okay Okay, okay. Alright, so here's Jennifer from now we're getting to Prom One Studios. Plum is Plum is over with. See some of these sections are smaller. I don't know if it's because the winter uh Wonder Festival was had so much content. I remember it took us forever to get through that. Now it seems like these sections maybe they're only showing their new content, their new figures, and they're a lot more condensed than they were before. So here's Jennifer and this little goblin baby. I, I I know he was from the, I know both these characters from The Witcher. I just can't seem to remember this quest line with this character that well, but I, I do remember him. Um, 
I don't know why they would bring this thing along with the Unifer. Uh, Unifer honestly doesn't look the best herself. I like in her face because of all like I guess the realistic detail they're going for here. All the the detail in her face makes her look a little bit masculine. Actually, she almost looks like a uh like a like a cross dresser or something <laughs> i think that's the word i'm looking for she looks like a man in a dress almost and it doesn't even look like a dress much it's very very weird looking figure um and Jennifer, i don't know she's not very elegant for such a, a character who was relatively sexy and elegant in the in the games this is not a really good portrayal of her at least i don't think so i mean yeah keep in mind prime one studios even though i love these people as manufacturers man these figures ain't cheap man each of these figures go for like it's six to uh, some sort of six hundred dollars. Shit, most of them go for like nine hundred at least. I can tell you that much. There might be some of the less popular ones that may go down in price or maybe a little bit more affordable. But you're paying nine hundred dollars for a figure, you want to know that joint's a top grade quality and it looks very, very, very nice. So I gotta be a little harsh on some of these figures if possible. Now this joint I like a lot too. I'm not a I don't know much about the source material for the show, Giver or Gynever or whatever, but pretty badass figure, man. I think this guy's from the same thing. I'm sorry, my my nips are itching over here, man. What the fuck? And then we got Fat Man, <laughs> Fatty Fatty Fat Batman. No, he's I, he's just. He's just a really like wide, bulky looking, sluggish looking Batman. I've seen this version of Batman before. I'm digging it though. You generally don't see uh, this kind of Batman very often. He looks a little bit, I mean, he looks a little bit too muscular. Like he doesn't, look, he looks so muscular and, and meaty that he doesn't have any room to be that agile to be jumping from rooftops and stuff. Um, but this is a pretty slick ass Batman, dude. I, I don't. I don't. I'm pretty sure he's from a particular comic or something. Like people that are more uh, comic savvy will know exactly what uniform this is from, which what it's, what it's representing in this that, and the third. I have seen this costume in one of the games, but I'm not that comic savvy to be able to tell you exactly where it's coming from. Black Manta. All right. Last time I saw this guy, I was calling him Namor. I mean, they're kind of the same character. But this is Black Manta, uh, Aquaman's villain. This tiny ass shark right here. <laughs> That's more impressive than the actual figure itself. So I'm guessing Black Manta is going to be in a new live action movie. I mean, I don't, I don't know anything about him. So I guess at the very least, I'm interested in learning more about that character. DC Universe is so fucked, dude. I mean, they got a new Joker coming out. The last Joker only had one movie. Uh, Batman and, and uh, Superman are out. They gotta find new Batman Superman leads. I mean, it's just DC is just so fucked, dude. Like, I, I'm so concerned for them. And it's sad because they actually have some pretty great actors uh, that, that at least looked the part. Wonder Woman is great. Um, I think Aquaman is a perfect pick, at least for his appearance and stuff. So it was a bit disappointing to learn that they are. <sighs> You know, having to cast new actors. I, I really like the look of Superman. Of course, he wasn't the most accurate portrayal of Superman. But that, that could have been changed. And, you know, with the writing, I would hope. I was optimistic. The, 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 those movies had potential, man. You know? They were just so rushed. That's just the unfortunate part. But here's Lobo. And I'm, a, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Lobo. I mean, of all the characters I could say I, I know from Superman, this is one of the ones that... Uh, I, I definitely gravitate to a bit more. And we have Battle Angel Alita. And this is the movie version, which I, which I find kind of surprising. The fact that they're making movie versions of these characters uh, before the movie even releases. This movie doesn't come until December. So, like, what if this movie doesn't do well? What if it's, like, a critical failure, which it being based on the anime property means it most likely will be, but... <laughs> I'm always optimistic, man. I, I generally believe that if we're going to get a huge breakthrough uh, in the anime community, it's going to come through a movie format, live action movie or something, something that's going to appeal to the mainstream audience and get them more invested in the anime community. This is the thing. I know a lot of people want anime to be niche and secretive and like, oh no, it's just mine. It's mine. It's personal. I don't want all these people to know about it. Well, the more people that know about these animes, the more people that are exposed to them. 
for more content, more memorabilia, more things that you don't have to worry about importing. Like, things will just become more readily accessible. So that would be a good thing, man. Like, trust me, it's a good thing. If you can get more people exposed to anime, they really appreciate it and value it. And what the fuck? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie! <laughs> no, I, I know this is uh, this is it. I saw. I love this movie actually. I, I have only seen it once because it, it is actually kind of fucking scary. If we're being completely honest, and I don't get scared by scary movies often. This fucking movie is terrifying. I don't even know if I'd ever watch it by myself. Um, but it was definitely a really, really fucking good movie, man. I'm a big fan of this movie. Not enough to have this fucking figure though. I'll never buy some shit like this. <laughs> You will never fucking see this shit in my house. Uh-uh. Not me, man. Gravity Days. Uh, Fist of the North Star right here. We got Alphonse. And, uh... Alphonse Eric and Edward Eric. And these are probably the best figures to consider getting if you are a Full Metal Alchemist fan. Because they don't make very many. Especially not high quality figures. But, but like I said, you're going to be dropping like $900 for just one of these figures. So if you want the set, you're looking at like two grand. You know what I mean? So you got to be a Dow Hot fan for, to purchase anything from Prime One Studios. I actually have two figures on the way. Well, one figure on the way from Prime One Studios, uh, which is Griffith. I have ordered a Griffith, which looks amazing, dude. Fucking beautiful. Uh, I don't know if I have the space for it because these figures are pretty big. But, um, Griffith is probably one of my favorite anime characters of all time. And it's unfortunate because I haven't really read much of the Berserk manga. And I really want to see, I want to read more of it, man. I just want to learn more about these characters and their, and their, you know, eternal struggle, if you will. Hmm. So we have this, uh, Batman right here. Looking like a cross between Magneto and Wolverine. It's just the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Maybe he's supposed to look similar to Deathstroke right here in the background because he has a similar color palette or color scheme. And it just looks fucking weird. I mean, Batman has always been in all black. It just seems like his character is supposed to be stealthy and, you know, be a part of the night. This isn't a very good, uh, very good cloaking or concealing device. Now, your Joker, on the other hand, this fucking Joker, you can hardly see him. It's probably just the way that the person took the photograph. But I am a big fan of this design and the statue. I just wish you could see more of them. Now we getting into Berserk. I don't know this guy's name, but there is probably a name for him. His name is just Void. Huh? Okay, all right. Comes with this little chubby guy right here. And then this is the Hound Beast. Oh, Beast of Casca's Cas Dream. I'm not even try to pronounce this guy's name because I can't. I, can't, I don't. I don't know. Ishirito. Ishiro. Ishirito. Ishirito. All right. This is where I didn't want to pronounce his name. All right. All you guys are gonna do is like, oh, he's not pronouncing the names correctly. That's all you ever say. All right. Fuck. All right. Oh, Japanese is not my first language. All right. Shat. Uh, Shad and Shaliki. Another name I probably pronounced incorrectly. We got uh, the, this apostle, apostle Zod, the in apostle form, and we have guts, which I have not seen this version of the figure. I've seen him in his full beast armor, so this this one is pretty interesting, uh, but not as interesting as a Griffith. Another Transformers movie figure, or another let me say movie figure. Not Transformers movie figure, I don't. Just a, just another interpretation from a movie. Big Game Predator. I don't even know what this is. <gasps> oh, damn it. I am so sorry. Forgive me for yarning, man. I, I, am, I just got home from work, so I'm, I am a little bit... <laughs> a little bit tired. All right. <laughs> but I'm trying to get a lot of work done this week for you guys. So I got to push myself a little bit. Especially since I gotta do this video for the second time, which is a little bit frustrating. <laughs> God damn it! I don't lose footage that often, but uh, this 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 time around, man, it, it just I, nothing I can do about it. Um, we got the T Rex from Jurassic fucking Park. Now this is some this is some clean shit right here. Uh, of all these realistic kind of figures, Jurassic Park is one of those movies that is a part of my childhood. It is a part of a lot of people's childhood. And, and I could see, if 
I collected more realistic, believable figures, maybe figures that are based off of like cinematic and movie universes, people would probably <laughs> view me as a more respected collector instead of these big titty anime girls. All right, I'm okay, I'm down with the big titty anime girls. Big titty, bright hair anime girls all day. All right, but you know, generally people that collect this kind of shit is looked at as a little bit more of a well-respected collector. Uh, 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 uh man of culture if you will all right so now we have this indominus rex is this the indominus rex or indoraptor i think is what they called it this is the one from the most recent movie uh movie wasn't terrible all right a lot of people were hating on the movie i think it was it was entertaining all right it was an action movie that's kind of what you expected i mean they threw a little bit of horror elements into it whatever it was it was an entertaining movie but uh, them making this kind of these kind of figures who does this appeal to? You know what I mean? I can understand the T-Rex. That's classic. You know? That's fucking classic Jurassic Park, right? But this is like some modern, new age shit that most people are, don't even like. So why would you invest money and time into creating something based off the new franchise? You know? I, I, don't, I don't... That that I don't understand. You can create stuff once it becomes nostalgia or once it's already reached a sense of popularity. But why invest time and money in something that you're not even sure people are going to like? And now we have Ellen the Crow. Uh, Ilian, the crow from Bloodborne. So yeah, she's looking pretty fucking clean. I wonder if we're ever going to get Bloodborne 2. That's the question right there. That's the question that, that everybody wants to know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, goodness. Ugh. I said told myself I was going to get through 10 sections here. I doubt that, alright? We'll be lucky to get through 5, alright? Because I'm telling you, your boy is... Whew, your boy won't take a nappy poo, you know what I'm saying? So let's keep it going. We're gonna go with Ami Ami Wave uh, Kentu and future models, I think. Or future models, some shit like that. Ami Ami. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is the last section I actually did see in the last in the previous video. So this is not gonna be a lot of new stuff for me. And I do remember Ami Ami this section being a little bit underwhelming. Uh, there's see this this figure's not too bad. This one's pretty nice. That's an idle girl. Uh, you can't even get a good look up that un up that skirt, man. Even at this angle, you want to see some goodies, all right? But it ain't happening. It, it ain't happening. Like, goddamn, I ain't even never seen a goddamn dress fight so hard to keep the panties concealed. All right? But let's keep it going. And then this is where it goes downhill. It's just idle masks. All these are like cards. Oh, no, hold on. All right, we got one more, one more figure here. A little girl from Gun Gale. Or, uh, yeah, Gun Gal Online, Gun Gal Online. A couple more figures here and there. And, uh, but at some point in time, we got pillows. Eventually, going to just having kind of acrylic stands, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, some, some pictures, some pictures, some keychains, some, some, some more keychains, some, uh, stands. Here we go. Here, we're getting into the acrylic stands. So like this is kind of majority of their presentation. These acrylic stands. Now they're kind of like figures, but they're like 2D figures. Uh, I don't know why people would invest in these. I'm pretty sure they're cheap. Maybe you can get them from gumball machines. Uh, I'm not really sure, but it, it's kind of goofy to me. This this figure here, I don't know what this little lady is from, but she is beautiful, man. I am I am definitely digging her all day. She got a, it's an anchor right here. Was leaving me to believe she might be from that um, Kanta collection. Why would they have a wolf girl in Kanta collection? I don't know. I guess she's a nine tail fox. But what does that have to do with ships and boats and stuff? Who knows, man? You guys tell me. Kanta collection started as like a game or a mobile game or something first, and then get translated into an anime. Because there's another mobile game called, I think, Azura Lane, which is kind of similar to Kanta Collection. You're collecting girls that are militarized or possibly battleships or something, and that's getting ready to turn into an anime. So I'm like, maybe I should consider playing some of these games. They're getting such a good following and so much popularity that they're being interpreted into animes. Like, that is something to consider. I don't know. But uh, I do believe she it looks like she's from... Uh, is a, is a picture of her in color, which I must have breezed past before. Though it doesn't really matter. She mostly has white fur, white hair, you know, 
Just a little bit more color to her skin and then the bikini she's wearing. Well, it's not too bad. This this little figure I liked a lot. Very simplistic, but got a really nice base here. I love the little water gun and how it's like a little bit translucent. I don't know. It's just a very fun figure. And you know, I'm not. I have no fun figures, okay? They're, they're either sexy or they're more sexy, okay? All right? That's about all I collect. And it's a little bit. It's a little sexy, a little sexy, but mostly just fun. All right, so we get into some next. Get into some wells. What the fuck are these wells doing? This one's laughing. What the fuck? Some puppies. Okay, now this shit I do not remember. A la carte. And uh, hold on, is this from Spirited Away? When I first saw this, I just thought it was like, okay, this is a purple, a uh, blue dragon. And I'm like, that that looks like Haku from Spirited Away, but I don't think it is. Just a very interesting looking figure, very detailed, very unique art style in comparison to most of these figures you see here, which I always give props to. You know? Now we're into Futile Martyrs. Alright, so we're kind of coming up on the end of this section. Giganto! At least I think that's Giganto. Every time I see a figure that looks like Giganto, it just reminds me of that old school opening. And then we have some weird fucking girl here with the put out. Okay. Alright. Alright. Whoo! I'm getting tired, boy. Whoo! I ain't think, I think this. I ain't think sleep's gonna hit your boy like that. You know what I'm saying? Whoo, boy. Okay, hold on. We in the wrong section. Alright, so that was it for the Ami Ami. Now we're moving on to completely new figures, alright? I haven't seen any of these figures. I did see some figures from the first two sections, but we got through them pretty quickly. At least I think we did. Uh, so now we're going to just be jumping straight on into Art Storm and Aniplex. Which I thought only, I thought Aniplex only made animes, but maybe they do more than that. Okay, I mean, we got a lot of figures here, but I think some of these we've already seen. Like, this figure is fucking amazing right here. Like, god damn, that figure's fucking gorgeous, yo. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the best quality picture. And, uh, we have seen this figure before, so it's not really too much new. Whoa, hold on, what the fuck? They got this bitch with some skimpy shit. I've seen her before. I think I've seen a little bit of this anime, but I've never seen her wear anything this fucking revealing. Look how young she is. Look how young she is, alright? <laughs> Don't lose lollies, alright? Hey, don't do it! Alright, let's keep it going. Whoa! God damn, man. He's, they, they hitting it. These, who is it? Oh, shit. Look at these bits. No! Oh, look at Asuna. As 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 I think it's Asuna and... Uh, I don't remember this girl's name, but they're both from Sword Art. There's the girl from uh, Your Line, April. Black Butler. I mean, oh, shit. Okay. They look like they winding up the... Knock us out, man. This all this shit look good to me. Which one? What company is this? Aniplex. Well, goddamn. Oh shit! They got this big ass figure right here. They, this this figure was manufactured. It's a life size figure. I don't know what anime she's from, but she was manufactured in limited quantity. I think there was only like maybe twenty produced of her, maybe a little bit more. She was selling. They were selling her for like twenty thousand dollars, man. Twenty thousand dollars. All right, I gotta put an emphasis on that. God damn. All right, who got that kind of money? All right, be fucking buying twenty thousand dollar fig. You you gotta really fucking love this character, man. That's the, that's what I'm trying to understand too, because it's like you gotta be super connected. If not too many anime characters, I'm like, all right, I put twenty thousand that bitch. You know, it, it ain't gonna. It's not too many. Like I have waifus. I have characters I love. Right. I. I uh, you know, you know is one of my favorite anime characters, girls of all time. All right, I love me some you know. I generally try to a lot of psycho bitches. All right, so uh, Hannah from uh, from 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 Prison School, another favorite of mine. But even if they made a twenty thousand uh, dollar life size scale figure of either one of those characters, I don't like to see myself purchasing it. You know what I mean? Um, I just, I just, and even if I have no, even if I had the money on hand, is what I'm saying. I had the money to spare. It does a huge investment. I guess the other problem is I don't have a lot of the space. But these light, these one-to-one -one scale figures are becoming far more popular. You're going to see them a lot more often. They're just becoming more common. They're also becoming more affordable. 
But they're still only looking at like maybe ten thousand dollars on some of the low end. I did hear that there was one going for six thousand. One going for six thousand, but that is still way too steep for my blood, man. <clears throat> God damn. God damn, but God damn. Shit. Alright, Saber. Alright, Saber. Alright, Saber. Fuck. Alright, I give you that. I give you that. You know, I usually hate seeing Saber, but you can't be mad when she show up to the party like this. I mean, god dang. Madoka. I love me some Madoka, man. Magical Mokura. So, so nice. This is probably one of the nicest um, Darling and the Frank figures I have seen. You know, they've been trying to, you know, this anime is popular, so you're starting to see some figures trickle out. Unfortunately, most of them have not been the nicest. This one is beautiful. Look at the fucking base. Look at the fact the fact that she's wearing just kind of regular casual clothes, not that not that fucking uh, space suit that's gripping her ass and shit. Who the fuck wants to see that? No, I'm joking. Of course I want to see that. Problem is that it, it just it, the figures look way too generic. This one looks kind of more artistic and creative, and I'm digging this one a lot more. I'm definitely digging it. Wish it was in color, but this thing is fucking clean. Oh, this is a bitch from the uh, from the from the from the from the ghost. Hot Springs joint. God damn, they search them. Oh, God damn. <laughs> oh, I see where we going with this. I see where we going. I, I, what, what is this, Antiplex? Antiplex killing it. All right, they killing the game, all right? Maybe it's because I've, I've already seen some of the stuff from uh, um, Prime One Studios. But, yo, they killing it, all right? They killing it. God damn. She looking good. All right, what they got for us now? Not bad, dude. This is one of the this is one of the nicest versions of this character I've seen as well. Just because of the base, I haven't. I'm guessing this is a clip something that happened in the anime, but this just because of this base alone. God damn, this shit is tight, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, we going all the way back up to the bitch with the titties. All right, but yeah, this 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 is actually one of the better versions I've seen of this character. So that's, that gets crowning points as well. Because this one, generally, when you see this character, she's usually pretty generic too, you know? But they gave her a really nice base, and that kind of gives her extra brownie points. Okay, Dogi. Uh, no, it says Aniplex and Alter Dam. So we are still in Aniplex right now, and this is fucking beautiful as shit. Aniplex is fucking crushing it, dude. I mean, they are crushing this game, dude. Wow, look at this one, man. Look at this one. Wow, look at that, dude. That is fucking cool. I know these figures look basic. And some of them are kind of basic. But they're more creative than most of the stuff I see, man. Even though they got a pretty simplistic approach. Now, this one I've seen. This is Alan from... Uh... Fuck, what is the name of this guy's anime? I don't even fucking remember, dude. Oh, shit. D. Gray, man. Okay. This must be in-game Alan Walker. Because this motherfucker looks like he's on level 5,000 right now. He don't look like he just walked into the game with level one base level armor and shit. This dude got a fucking cloak. He got a big ass sword with a cross on it. I mean, this dude got this dude is clearly, you know, level two hundred and seventy five. He been grinding and wild for like you know the last decade and a half. This motherfucker's not playing, dude. He got his little companion, his little pet right there. This man is not playing. And I guess this is either his companion or his rival. I haven't seen enough to, um, to of this show to really know what the hell is going on. But I have been kind of wanting to get into it. I mean, it's always good to find a new shonen, in my opinion. I always like, I love shonen, all right? Now, I think there are some that are clearly better than others. Dragon Ball Z is definitely on the lower end of the spectrum, even though Dragon Ball Z inspired a lot of these other shonens. It, 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 the writing and the and the, the the way that they've developed the powers and abilities, it's just not as creative, okay? It's just not. God damn it. D stop. All right, just stop. All right, get off of Goku's Dragon Balls, all right? Dragon Ball Z is not that good, all right? I love it. Clearly, I love it. Look, I got a whole shelf dedicated to it. But there are just far better shonens out there. 
You got Hunter Hunter. You got fucking JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You got fucking One Piece, all right? And Naruto. I don't know about Naruto. Fuck Naruto. All right, Naruto had some potential. It started off really strong, but it kind of started falling off towards the end. But I, I do, I do like Naruto. I'd even say Naruto's probably better, better written and stuff than Dragon Ball Z is. So Dragon Ball Z is really on the lower end of the spectrum for me as far as writing is concerned. It has some moments, and it is one of the animes that introduced me to anime. So, you know, I, I mean, I, I'll always appreciate it for that. I, I, I'm, I do love me some Dragon Ball, but it is just so many better shonen out there. So now we're moving on to Art Storm, where I feel like we are finally, uh, we're getting ready to go back downhill, alright? As you can see, we're <laughs> we're hitting the mechs. My big titty anime girls have left me, and uh, we're running into a downward spiral, alright? Downward fucking spiral here. Oh, my, my mouse. Alright, it's good that it was uh, actually not that long, so this is good times. So let's keep it going. We're going to go to Belfine now. I, I love me some Belfine. I don't own anything from Belfine, but they, they do not disappoint in my opinion. In the past, they, they usually have pretty nice figures. Oh, goodness. We're not starting. What the fuck is this? Blaze Blue. Okay, well. Well, maybe I, I overspoke. Because if you bring in this kind of shit to the show... Bell found what the fuck is this, huh? No, I'm joking. This this, this guy he looks fine. It's okay. He's clearly not fully detailed, so it's kind of hard to critique it. Now this, this is what I know them for. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this is what I know them for. Like this. Look at this colors and stuff right here. It's it's very earth tones and everything. I, I really need to take some fucking notes here. You got a beige, like a like a like a maybe like a mint green and a brown. Fucking clean, dude. I mean, just a nice little assortment of colors. A very earth tone colors. You don't really see a lot. Um, even her panties match it. Yeah, you know, you know I'm peeping the panties, man. You know she gotta peep the panties. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's let's see if we can get a better angle of that one. I mean, this one is nice. But it's kind of hard to comment because it's not color. Oh, shit, they're not doing it. Don't tell me they're doing it. Don't tell me they're doing it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that looks fucking good. Are they making a figure? It's Oh, shit, this is a Yumi figure, dude. Uh, from Samurai Kagura, man. God damn it. God damn it. All right, fuck. You know your boy ready, all right? He ready. I'm looking forward to, to, to trying to get into collecting some Shinrod Kagura figures, man. So I'm a big Shinrod Kagura fan. I just, I've been kind of uh, slacking a little bit. Wow, 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 dude. This looks fucking amazing, dude. What the fuck? Like, oh, what? The fuck? This looks amazing. Like, look how vibrant it is. Look how much detail is in her outfit. I've seen this character a lot. I've never seen her this in this detail. And then look at her face. It's like it's got a realistic touch to it. Um, it's not. I mean, it is still anime. You know, heavily anime focused, but it has a kind of a realistic touch to it, which I, I'm definitely digging. I mean, goddamn, I'm loving this fig fucking figure right here, man. This is the first one I think we might have saved. I mean, there are some ones from the previous video I saved, so. God damn, that looks fucking good. You see this girl a lot, so she definitely one of more popular characters from Evan Galleon. I still haven't seen Evan Galleon. I would like to, but you know, you can't find it anywhere online. And then, uh. You can only best way is to buy a DVD collection, which is, which most of them are not cheap. A lot of them are kind of expensive. Now these, I'll just be wanting to know if these fucking things are for sale. Cause ah, I, I would do some dirty, dirty things to this muff. <laughs> now I'm joking. I'm sure that that fucking ass, even though it looks great, that shit's probably hard as a fucking rock right there. This shit is definitely not made for no pump action. <laughs> 
Bitch, god damn. That shit is tight though, man. I am a big fan of this shit. I don't know why. I, I want the I want these displays. I don't want the little ones here. Uh, I, th I think these are for your phone though. Actually, I think these are for your phone. I, I think I saw it somewhere. And I believe these are just phone displays, which are interesting. I just don't know where the fuck I can get away with this kind of shit. All right, I can't bring this shit to work and be like, uh, let me watch a movie on my <laughs> booty phone right here, <laughs> making a <laughs> a booty call real quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You gotta love this shit, man. You gotta love how creatively perverted Japan is, man. I mean, they come with some of the most creatively clever and perverted shit you never even thought was possible. And I love them for it, man. I truly do. So now we're moving on to A Zone. We are not off to a strong start here. Looks like a lot of these figures have fabric, like physical, real fabric. This girl's body is in color, but her head is gray. It was very unique. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not intentional. They probably just haven't finished the figure, of course, but it just looks strange. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Ah, shit. I gotta, I gotta remember never to do a fucking video when I'm tired, man. Oh shit. I, I, why the fuck am I iron like this? I mean, I know I just worked. I work overnight, so and I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit drained. All right, but fuck, all right, fuck, fuck me for wanting to produce some content for you guys. All right, slaving myself into the ground over here. Fuck. Ugh. All right, so we got uh, these these chicks from ReZero. All these are like posable figures with real fabric and really not my speed all right definitely not for me not interested M moving on all right so we just got through a zone we're moving on to uh a, a sama uh, osama osama bin latina ami grand vertec and yamano yanaman yanaman Oh shit! Okay, who the fuck is this bitch? With the booty out? With the booty out? Uh. With the booty out? I don't know if she's a fake character, but I'm loving these characters with these little water guns, man. I'm okay with that. Now this, however, is my bae. This is a girl from this is ruler right here from from Fate. Oh my 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 oh my 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 my! It's just getting more intense now. Don't do it. Don't do it now. Woo! Oof! Shit. Shit. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh. Oof. We're gonna save this shit right here, man. That look good. That look good! Oh shit, they got some more bikinis. Some more dream team bikini teams. Now this one looks horrible. What is going on with this girl? Okay. Okay. Yeah, this should this looks pretty bad. I don't know what it is, but the quality on this one looks like it's dropped a bit. I mean it, it's not horrible, but it looks a little bit a little bit inconsistent with the other ones. Bunch of girls in spaceships. Uh, we have uh, Joker's Ar Arcana from the uh, our Persona from Persona. Okay, another Persona character here. Okay. Oh, Mega Godzilla. Yo, tell me, tell me. Y'all saw that Ready Player One. Because that shit was nice. Alright, especially that ending, that finale with the. I think it was Mecha Godzilla versus a Gundam or some shit. Like, what the fuck, dude? I don't even care for either one of these characters that much, but that was one of the coolest fucking things you're gonna see in a fucking movie, dude. Alright, I like how the Gundam showed up and did like a single slash, and it was like, ugh! 
My time's up. Nah, your time wasn't up. That fucking budget was up. That's what it was. You ran out of money. All right. Woo! Oh, Jesus, help me. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Why am I so... Why am I yawning so much, man? <laughs> it must be the heat of the sun. Or I said the sun. The light's just draining me. But... I'm up. All right, I'm ready. All right? Woo! God damn. What's the chances that we're going to get... We get a Shinra Kagura figure... And a uh, new potential figure from Iki Towson. You know how how this is some old school shit right here. I I need to do some research because I personally believe Iki Towson kind of started the whole figure craze. Not only that, I think they kind of put each uh, etchy anime movies kind of on the map as well. Iki Towson deserves a lot more respect. All right, for to kind of setting and paving the way for this genre. Of anime figures and of um, because I think all the figures that predated Aki Towson's figures were like they weren't quality shit. You know what I mean? They were like shitty kind of figures people just threw together. Aki Towson was the first place, the first company, like well, not the company, but the first figures that were manufactured with quality and respect and detail. Most of them were coming from Aki Towson franchise. They kind of. I feel like started that renaissance. And I could be wrong. I gotta do some research on this shit. But this is one of the main reasons I really rock. I go hard with fucking Iggy Towson. Because this is one of the first animes uh, that I was introduced to. It's one of my close uh, nostalgic anime franchises. Now, the, the animes are inconsistent. They're like four volumes. And they don't really... They're not in sequential order. It's a little bit hard to follow. The second season being the worst, in my opinion. I hated the second season. Uh, but all the other ones are, are passable. The first one being the best. Um, and this figure here, as much as I want to like it, it, it it's, the quality is a bit, is a bit uh, inconsistent. Like, the body looks great. The, the outfit and the costume designs are really, is actually really cleverly done. I like this little net basket. I like the rock. I love the hair and the spear. All that's fine. The main issue I'm having is with her face and her hair up here. It just looks very like cheap or undone correctly, and they're, they're charging three hundred dollars for this fucking figure. How, how, how big is it? That's the question I have next. That seems a bit steep. I don't know, but yeah, that is uh, Keanu, Keanu Reeves. All right, um, shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! God damn! God damn! God damn! God damn! We saving this shit right here. I mean, God damn, yeah, boy! What the fuck? See, y'all know my taste in figures, and this is definitely up my fucking alley right here. I think this might be a fake character. I could be wrong. What the fuck? Come on, man. Bring that shit over here. Alright? Alright, so now we're moving on to... What the hell is this company? I just saw it. Oh, we're gonna skip that girl. Alright, so... Ya Yanaman. Yanaman! We're moving on to Yanaman, okay? And we're starting off with some young girls on a glass table or a glass display. Okay, some more. And... What? They have like three figures. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, y'all don't even deserve an introduction, man. Just why did y'all even come to this joint? Alright. Alright. Whew, we are. We are slowing down, but here's the thing one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. I think I want to do the sixth one here. And after that, we call it a quits because your boy getting tired. I get a little getting a little sleepy, alright? <laughs> it's 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 nap time for your boy, alright? So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and, and, and look at one more and then we're gonna wrap it up. Aquamarine. Alright. Alright. Very strong start. I'm digging this joint, right, chef? 
I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. What the fuck? How many arms she got? Oh, she only got two. I don't know. I was a little confused. These little tassels right here look like arms for a second. How many arms this bitch got, man? This is getting confusing. All right, man. I hope these rods. You don't need these rods to display her, because that's a very immersion breaking. Now this this chick is just way too voluptuous, man. Every time I see this girl, I know she's from Fate, but she is always just popping out everywhere. I mean, I, I ain't hating, but I just I just need I just need some some I just need to understand. Like what the fuck? Can I get this? Is like what is this bitch bikini version gonna look like? A, a swimsuit, some summertime version? If she always dressed like this, she 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 can't lose no more clothes. This is beautiful. I think this is Saber, and I do not want to give Saber her goddamn props. But this is some beautiful shit right here. And I, and I wish it was in color. It's it what really what really brings it together was this, this goddamn flower. I mean that pose is fucking lit too. Even though it's very simple, it's fucking elegant and powerful as fuck. Okay, I'm seeing why people really gravitate to Saber, cause something about this shit is elegant. And somehow powerful as fuck. All right, I'm digging that shit all day. That is fucking clean. That's one of the nicest saber figures I've ever seen. It's very simplistic, but it's very clean. And I've seen this one before. That's not bad, but it can't can't compare to this fucking shit right here. Okay, we got some some girls and some some cat suits and shit, and we got a panic shot. We got a panic shot. This girl I've seen a lot, man. I don't want to tell her anymore. God damn, the titty popping out, man. Overflow. Another fake character. And what is going on with her vag over here? Is this a fake character? I don't think so. That is getting way too seductive. A fucking fake character, man. This is. I think this is a fake character, but they are doing too much. What is going on with the puss area right here, man? Generally, fate figures are not adult centric. This one looking very adult centric, and I am curious to see where that one is going. Okay, we got some characters from Sword Art. Hmm. Jazz style. Now this is interesting. This is very interesting because I feel like this is not something you see often, and that is something that always gets my attention. When you see something that, that kind of focuses on something you don't traditionally see in the anime figure community. This is a jazz themed figure. Movie, she's got the, the wine or, you know, she's got the saxophone. And this is kind of unique. Just the theme in general. Now tell me why this chick looks like she got the same color palette as Hakage from, uh, uh, from Samurai Kagura. I mean, she got the same hair color. Even her top is the same color. Like, jeans. This looks like almost like her completely. If it wasn't for the fact that she was happy and smiling, I would think it was the same character. Okay, we got a little angel character. We got Hatsune fucking Miku in some little striped, itty bitty, teeny bikini. I said Hatsune Miku. God damn it. This is Super Sonico. You know what I'm trying to say. This is Hatsune Miku. I don't know who the hell that is, these characters are. Alright, but we got some pictures, we got some mugs. We got some more pictures, we got some battleships, we got some fake ass Power Rangers evolution toy. Oh my Jesus. Oh my, my mouse. Shit. I'm sorry, I'm kind of brushing through these joints. Obasu. Uh, Obitsu. Oh, they got dolls. Oh, my lord. Okay, so we... We done, man. We done. Alright? We done. Y'all done. So let me just remember where we gotta pick up at. Because we gotta pick up at... Medi Medicos Entertainment. We got Creative Unit, Broccoli, Furu, and Flair. I guess some, these are gonna all be in the same video. It's about five... Uh, joint. So that, that that should be enough for a whole nother video. I think we did good, man. I, I think we did good bouncing back here. Because like I said, I lost the footage from the first recording. But I wanted to give you guys something uh, for a figure report for this week. 
Um, so, I mean, you missed a few sections, but you really didn't miss anything at all. And and now we, we're coming back around. I showed you kind of the more interesting stuff, in my opinion. So I think this video was much better than the last one. Unfortunately, I am very tired. So, <laughs> I'm going to sleep, all right? But thank you guys for watching this Techno Tokyo Theater video. And have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. I want you for a lifetime. So if you're gonna